you guys want to get some awesome teams and guaranteed class players, make sure you go and check out FootCoinKing.com. Their link is down below. And if you use discount code B87, you get an extra 6% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns. Argentina. Now, if you guys missed Twitter yesterday, have not played the game for a couple of days, you will have missed some huge news. The player price capping is, in fact, in the game now. So, that makes a few changes to this series. Um, probably not this one, but maybe any future ones, and I will be explaining that throughout the video. Now, if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, make sure you go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below in the description. And if you use discount code B87, you get a bit of discount off as well. Um, if we can try and hit over 3,000 likes, that'd be absolutely sick as well as your support on this series is brilliant so i basically just before recording this commentary over the wager matches i asked on twitter what the people enjoy most about this series do they even care that these are wager matches or are they just interested in seeing the upgrades into team and a majority of the people were not even interested in the wagers which was surprising as that has been a big part of the series but wagers have been taking a slow death on youtube even on the game itself with the new uh, things which ea do impl implement especially the fat trade offers disappeared that was a huge blow to uh, anyone who did do wager matches including myself the next one is obviously the player pack capping now Obviously, currently I'm using a website called Gamer Saloon um, where I deposited some coins. I play people for wages on there and we get coins. But I don't know how that is going to be going now with the fact of depositing coins, with withdrawing coins, because you won't be able to. I, I just don't know. I don't know. But maybe you guys um, can give me some alternatives or anything down below. So the first game of today, we're going for Levetti in the left wing, uh, left midfield position. This is before we do actually upgrade and possibly change the team. Now this value is for 8,000 coins. Player capping has been introduced, so I don't know how much the players go for now, but... The wages you are going to see all week, guys, they are from the uh, price of the wages I played. So the player value might be a little bit different um, down to the player capping, especially the big players, but we'll have to wait and see in the future. So the next player we're going to go for is Casco. After getting Levetti in the team, Casco is to upgrade... Um, Ansaldi and get him into the team and that will be a lock in Ansaldi is obviously higher rated than Casco but Casco is a rare gold so we go from um, non-rare silver all the way up to rare gold in, in stages so you guys know how it does work now but the way I'm thinking about this series going now it's going to be basically an upgrade series where I play divisions now that's still going to be fun. It's still going to be a test because of the uh, opponent's quality in divisions um, and trying to get the best and better teams you can on FIFA. Now, a lot of people actually use the series to see what the cheap beasts are like. The likes of um, Gaitan, who we had in the team. The likes of the silver players we had in the team. They were fun to use. And uh, there were, obviously, a lot of people went out to buy them after me giving uh, the raving reviews. So in this game, we do manage to equalise uh, up straight after him. But then he went and uh, got me on a counter-attack. Very similar to the goal to the one I just got. And it was a cracking finish by Informerata to make it 2-1. This obviously was the final goal of the game and did cause us to downgrade to a not, uh, to a rare silver. Sorry, San Saudi goes out of the team and rare silver comes back in to use. And this rare silver, who I don't really know much about, has been alright. Didn't really complain about him, but San Saudi was obviously a lot better. So the final wager of today we are going to go for the upgraded Aguero again um, went for him before failed I think I've been for him a few times and completely failed he took my uh, total profit down but we're going to go for him again to get him locked into the team with Messi up front now the way I'm going to be changing the formation in this episode um, in this series in the coming episodes is hopefully changing it to a 4-3-1-2 or a 4 two three one formation with three cams and one striker and obviously that will cause a few players to play out of position including the likes of crespo you got and um, team of the year messi guys is definitely off limit there's no chance of me getting him which is a shame um just because of the coin issue now so that's gone i do have an, enough possibly for record breaker messi but we'll have to wait and see how the coins do does dictate the way the game is played now so he makes it one nil this team guys i was playing against was fucking hard and um, the player was good skills as you know skills completely do me just with the, my type of defending and he completely ripped me a new asshole even though i did get a um 
a very lucky equalising goal there. But the fast counter attack of Inform Coutinho, Wellington Silva, as you can see there on the ball, just pacing on through and tapping it past the goalkeeper. Yet again, I brought the keeper out and he just ran straight past. Um, but the fast attack was just ridiculous. The running scoop turn on, like, look at that for acceleration boost. It is impossible to defend against. Even though when I played with him in the Fatal Series, which hopefully, guys, will be with you in the next couple of days, um, it was annoying. But... 3-1 and then we're able to break on through yet again with Demi Maria who manages to get a penalty somehow in the 45th minute. Now from the resulting penalty we do manage to put it into the back of the net um, and make it 3-2 but the game turned very very stale. He wasn't really attacking, he went on ultra D, he was passing it around a lot and um, nothing... Um, yeah, nothing we could really do about that, and that was the way the game did finish. A nice three-two loss to finish. Uh, so two losses and one win, two downgrades, unfortunately. So Palacios back out the team again, and Vieto is back in. So we've got Vieto and Messi, who a lot of people do recommend um, as cheap alternative for Messi. So that's the way it's going to be going. Now let me know some uh, ideas and thoughts in the uh, comments down below, guys, as to how this series can evolve and make it better for you guys to enjoy away from the wager side of things. Because I like a what road to glory, I like upgrading players and obviously you guys do as well so drop a like rate and subscribe if you're not and we're back on Thursday for another episode of the Rudd's Glory Wage Showdowns Argentina